Derek got new equipment, new new camera lens. You know, he's an expert on all this shit. So the last the last lens you had, what's the difference between that one and that and this one? Well, the last lens I showed was this, the 50 mil. This is just that was that's the one we seen in the earlier vlog. But I put it on my Instagram, but this is the one I was taking the pictures with. And yeah. I put it up. But the only difference is really is this is like really zoomed in. And they both f1.8, which means when you take a picture, the uh, background blurry, they both do that mm -hmm. in, in layman's terms. But yeah. well, I see, a, I can see a total, I can see a difference in length too. Yeah, but I, yeah, I was gonna get to that with the, yeah, the length too, because this is just way, this is just zoomed all the way in. Like, I gotta stand, like if I want to take a picture of you, I gotta stand like all the way over there. If you were standing right here. Like this is this, this mug really zoned in, but this one, with well, this one, more photography or video, both. Oh, uh, yeah, buddy, uh, you can do it for both. It's all on the person that's wielding the camera. Oh, no, none of that shit, me. <laughs> yeah, I took a picture. This is stabilized, I have to take back, but yeah. Oh, that's yeah, like how you can get the back, it, it just focus on that object. Yeah, the magnification on this is like three times stronger than this, so yeah. I mean, I think it would be obvious that look how big that lens is versus that one. Yeah, but it's a lot of small lenses that get better magnification with than this. Uh, but this mug, yeah, this this bay right here. Shit, so guess that they y'all can expect our videos to be a lot goddamn clearer from when I from when we started with my camera. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, you did you have your camera when I had when we first started? No. What this one? The um the Canon, uh, the other Canon, I got not, but I, mean, I did, but we weren't shooting with it because I ain't had no mic. Oh right, 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 right. right. Yeah, and then my, my my camera had a, a, a internal mic that was pretty decent, you know. And I was watching all my old work. Oh my god, so amateur. <laughs> I mean, we still pretty amateur though. No, I'm more advanced now. I'm talking about when it comes to this, I'm yeah. more advanced now. I know way more than I did before. Oh, and we got a new video up that I'm starring in that I had somebody to star in it, but they flaked on me, so I ended up having to do it myself. Who? Some dude. Damn, y'all Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't give shine to people who, 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 don't, who don't move by their word. Like, if you say you're going to do something with Third Post Media, do it, man, because yeah. we, 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 we putting all our money into this. We putting all our time into this, so I definitely don't need people who ain't gonna show up when you say you're gonna show up, cause it becomes an issue. But yeah, new video up. I forget what what was the uh, I forget what it's called, but we got a vlog yeah, up. You forget what it's called. I what forgot what it's called. Listen, sometimes shit happens. The wake up. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's the wake up. Oh I, my god. I hate I th it's the wake up with a subtitle. Boy, I hate my I fucking can't, job. You can't never make another video by yourself again. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even there with him when he made the video, and I remember it. Ain't that a bit? No, I, I just because it was a couple things that I felt like could have been better with the video. Plus, people had already told me one, the audio I had messed up the original audio, so Yo, I had to redo it. Two, my neighbor. He kind of drunk and he liked to fall over and shit. So, <laughs> so I couldn't even I couldn't even uh, redo the audio in, in, in enough time to have it up with the vlog with the I'm not with, not with the vlog with the with the podcast with Clint now. So I end up just putting it out because my dad that was the deadline, so I just put it out and people liked it. Only only issue is, and I I, I don't think it was much of an issue for me was the audio. I mean, the audio is pretty decent. It sounded like you didn't have a mic, but you know, right? You, you remember that? Remember the idea I had told you about? That was the idea. Yeah, about, I know. That's yeah. why I was like, "Oh, you finally did." Yeah, because I was like, "Man." Cause every time I wanted to do it, was you was like, "No, I want to get this guy to do it, but he, I'm trying to see if he gonna do it. I don't want to do it no more." And then I, and then no, I didn't want to do it because I was like, "Cause I, I, I come up with the idea, and then what I want to do is produce it." But if I gotta, my, I don't really like being in front of the camera, so shit. I just like, I, don't, I don't mind being in front of the camera, but eventually I like to be behind it. I guess the only moment, the only time I'll be in front of the camera is when I'm, when I don't have to act. If I can just be Curtis. Yeah, acting ain't nothing but lying. <laughs> <laughs> act, acting ain't nothing but lying. Just putting the mask on. Oh, uh, uh, y'all see the hat? These finna be gone soon too, so 
Damn, it's backwards on this fucking camera. But it says, I forget what it says, but. <laughs> I'll be, I'm, I'm just getting everything. And I need my haircut, man. I've been out here kind of rough. Yeah, best of my old contacts. I my barber, my old barber. <laughs> Been Enjoy the moment. Work toward the future. These hats available created by Curtis.com. That's dog so scrappy. I hate them little motherfuckers. Them little, them little itty bitty dogs yeah, that can little, fit in the purse. Yeah. But you know why they like that though? Because they this little man complex or whatever fuck. Little no, what complex. it is is what it what why them dogs are so scrappy is because people think they don't have to properly train them because they're so small. Oh, so yeah. so these dogs are pretty much you know. I do know uh, some trainers, so yeah. Right, because right. my my uncle he had he had like he had hella pugs, and right. they were all trained. They weren't like super aggressive. My auntie got it. My auntie where he died. R.P. Bruno. <laughs> that was my little dick, man. He was pug, little fat ass. Sound like he was having a stroke every time he ran, but yeah. He was trained. Like, yeah, he they, like, people don't people don't train them little dogs because they think they ain't got to. So yeah. it's just like shit, fuck it. And it be the, like the chihuahuas or the shih tzus right. that nobody really they train. Do, and they the motherfuckers not, be getting on my nerves. They do not train them dogs because they think they oh just because they small they don't need home training or whatever. Like they, they're aggressive know, and because been, they ain't got no training. And I've been on this block eighteen years. Hey, how you doing? Been on this block 18 years. Our old neighbor from like two, three years ago had a little chihuahua named Ginger. That little motherfucker, boy. She a little fit on the last through this gate. <laughs> and started barking at me. I'm like, I'm like, boy, I be ready to squad up with that little mom. I'm like, I'm going to kick you in your damn nose. You better get the hell out of here. <laughs> right over the gate. It's good. Stop playing. Big booting dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, who did that? Peter gonna get at our ass. What did that? I'm trying to think. There, I, that was a. I think I think it was a movie where Eddie Griffin was in it, where a dog, uh, where where no, a dog was, a was the main comedian. character. He said, "I like I like little dogs. They sound funny when you kick them." <laughs> 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 he said, "Them little motherfuckers go far." But I ain't gonna say I don't care about Peter. I mean, you know, right. respect to the. I animals. mean, fuck Peter, but respect to the animals. You seen that? Uh, you seen that? Uh their story or report about how LeBron was upset about I guess a, a coach from some from Alabama or something like that basically they did like he he, he got the little show in the barbershop or whatever mm -hmm. I guess a coach did a show like that or something like that it, it was it was somewhere it was something about where LeBron felt like some people was copying what he was doing in the barbershop well that's because LeBron don't understand that and in today's age, nobody's original. <laughs> no, and it was weird to me because he ain't even the first to do that. Nah, he not. So how, what is he mad about? How you mad at something you think is original when you're not even original? Right. It's so hard to be, like I saw this video, this dude said, one of the, the aspects of being original is to understand that you will never ever be original in the film, whatever, social media, whatever you think, mm -hmm. you think you're being original, you're not. Even the greats are not original. Like you come up with an idea, nine times out of ten, somebody came up with the idea before right. you. It was an inspired idea. Right. Everything we do is inspired. Right? You just gotta throw your own little twist. You know. So I don't, don't think I don't think LeBron really understood the fact that you know people been people been doing their little own little talk shows yeah. in barbershops it was one of um where buster Rams was always a hip-hop one like, that they did yeah. so lebron like, like lebron lebron from the movie barbershop lebron's whole little <laughs> situation is his whole little uh, his his, ir his irritation with the situation is misplaced right like you ain't the first to do it you ain't gonna be the last to do it just like like look at Kyrie's uncle drew that shit people been doing that shit right like he probably thought of that idea from eddie murphy Right. You know, uh, Martin Lawrence when they even started wearing prosthetics and you know, they just they just threw their own little twist in it by adding basketball. You see what I'm saying? I think shit. LeBron need to get over his goddamn self. That's what the fuck you need to do. <laughs> I mean, I got I we got a lot of respect for LeBron. You know, I'm not a fan of his basketball. Fuck him. I mean, I, I respect him, but on this particular situation, he wrong. Yeah, he wrong. He, he wrong, wrong a lot. He wrong. He, he was, and then he put out a statement saying that uh. Don't look bad back then. They just look bad. What, what's that? Them little dogs. You see them? Yeah, I see them. Look bastards. Fuck them damn dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. I'm going to give me a big dog. Yeah. I, I, definitely, I definitely want a, a, a big dog over them little ass dogs. Yeah, I, 
fucking ankle biter dogs. That's what they. That's what yeah, you gotta call them. I call them toe biters or ankle biters or something. Just some. They just you're not supposed to bite me down here. <laughs> but I don't want a big ass dog that's gonna square up with me every time I get like punished or something. That's why you gotta train them properly. You I'm gotta tra tra train your dogs properly. I'm, pa I'm so paranoid living in Chicago. I don't trust no great name. Oh. <laughs> Great day, might one day I might smack him on the behind because he shitted in the house, but he might look like, wait, I'm seven foot one. Who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> he said I'm seven foot right, one. Right, you know, if I stand up and smack his shit and smack his ass back, Listen, you gotta get some respect to me. Train your dog properly, you won't have these issues. That's why a lot of people say, get, get him with their puppies. Right. Always get a dog with some puppies. That's what they do. It's like a kid. Like when we little, our mamas have us when we babies. Right. They train us. All right, there we go. Who you think getting killed out of Infinity War? Uh, personally, I think Captain America. Because you think Captain getting killed? His contract, though. I seen that story, but he never actually said that he wasn't going to renew it. You never know. He's probably gonna come back. I don't know, but uh, I'm just saying from what I what I see. But I don't know if he's scared because Iron Man. He's supposed to be scheduled to be in the, the fourth one, and and then he's still supposed to be like Tudor Rich to Spider Man, right? And Spider Man, he he did the second yeah. movie. Yeah, they're going to be in the second movie together. But it's not for certain that he's uh, going to be, be in Spider-Man too. All right. Uh, Thor might die. Might. Uh, it's getting to the point where a lot of them are tired of doing this character. Keep doing these characters, I don't right? think they're tired. I think Marvel, because Marvel is supposed to reboot the whole Because what's the name got? got uh, oh, <laughs> that's called a candle you crazy boy uh but they they supposed to be rebooting the whole what universe after thanos because he has the uh time stone and all the infinity stones he might they supposed to reboot the universe with that or whatever i don't know uh, but i know they're doing a reboot because they bring it back fantastic four yeah they this would be about to be the third try but this time it's gonna actually be marvel and well, disney it, uh, it wasn't be. marvel before oh uh, fox had it right to them uh that's why it was so horrible. Both times? All, all three. It was three. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, just like because it, it was like, hey, how you doing? It, I mean, because it was, it was like the the first two that they did. Well, that was the same characters. Was yeah, I just, I just counted as two different, like, I guess franchises. Then. No, that's those are the same characters. So that's one franchise, and then the next I'm, one. I, I'm trying to think of a better word for it. That's a sequel. Uh, Cause they did a sequel to it. I mean, cause the but the Michael B. Jordan one wasn't a sequel though. No, nah, that was a reboot. Okay, that was trash. That was trash. Okay. <laughs> they messed up the. If you mess up the reboot, that's why I think they sold it back to Disney. Cause they messed up. If you mess up a reboot, I think that's why they uh got rid of uh. Well, then there's other characters that they should definitely like. Take it back. Though. They should definitely like uh get in tune with some other characters. It came down. They sold the rights. No, no. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, that go for Marvel and DC. Listen, uh, DC. I understand that y'all ain't taking the chances that y'all need to be taking, but please do a Lobo movie. We need a Lobo movie. He he, one of the very few characters in DC that can whoop, whoop on Superman. He funny, is weird, and it could be the answer to Deadpool. Just on the rated R, you know, whole. Uh, uh, raunchy superhero sort of anti anti hero thing. They can redo Doomsday. He didn't want to whoop on Superman too. I ain't like how they did Doomsday and Superman, Batman versus. No, but Doomsday was never an anti hero though. He was just a villain all together. Yeah, I'm saying, but he was, he whooped on Superman. You yeah. said one of the few villains that could whoop on Superman. What, no, I said one of the, one of the few characters that could whoop character, on Superman. Yeah, yeah, but Lobo has got more of a story because he got, he an anti hero. Plus, his storyline is him destroying his home planet just to be unique. Yeah, yeah, bounty hunter. Right. Galactic bounty hunter. They do a Lobo movie. He still movie. lost, though, to Superman. Yeah, but it, it, it's, <laughs> he's still funny, though. Dudes, they won. Nigga, he killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, they killed Superman. Yeah, but he can, but he can take a punch of Superman. Superman whooped his ass. In which iteration? With all of them. Yeah, uh, not, well, all not, of not all of them. Most of them. But still, it it still a, it still will be a Even good movie. Even in the cartoon, he <laughs> well, right, now, Lobo he, had the little upper hand for that because that's because he underestimated. But him. am I right or wrong? Should Lobo yeah, should definitely have his own movie? They got to do the character right, like uh, yeah. If they don't get they the right person right. to do the character, then it ain't gonna work. They got to design them and write them right because if that design don't go with the writing, I ain't gonna like it. Right, because they did a new iteration of them and it was horrible from what they telling me. 
I ain't like the cartoon version of it. That shit looking horrible. I don't think I ever had an issue with the cartoon version. I ain't like how it I always thought the, I like, I like how I, it version, I always thought his love for dolphins was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he got he got a, he got some I guess super atomic dolphins or something like that some yeah, crazy yeah. stuff and yeah we definitely need a Lobo movie because they doing a the, uh, DC type bloodshot static they, shock need a movie yeah they need to revisit that yeah I don't know why they even let that car, that cartoon I look, the amount of love that static shock ha, shock has gotten all these years after they went off off the air they. Definitely should have did something they, new. What they could do is if they reboot Justice League, they could definitely uh bring in Static Shock. Yeah, or they could bring him in too. I think Static Shock could be a good addition to DC too. Static Shock could be like the Spider Man, right? Right. Reboot Spider Man, right. and they just get Not the, the right Spider Man, but the new Spider Man. Just get the right, just update the whole Bang Baby thing, make it more modern or whatever, yeah. and they'll be able to go with it. There's a lot of characters they could do. Yeah. There's a lot of characters that both Marvel and DC they they need to find some way to make the like to put those those lesser known characters that's that that make good movies, put them on the forefront so more people will know them. Plus Marvel and DC Marvel and DC people don't go see the movies just based off it being Marvel and DC. Right. So you ain't necessarily gotta do all that. Just make the damn movie. I'm surprised they still ain't do one on Adam. Who? Adam. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He like Ant Man. Yeah, but he do. He, he very similar to Ant Man, but he called the Adam. Right. I'm surprised they didn't do that. That should have been one of the first. He supposed to be in Justice League. Adam? Yeah. Oh yeah, in the cartoon he was in Justice yeah, League. He yeah. one of the founding members of the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. No, not the founder, but he was I said one of like he, he was like one of he the was early. He was groups. early. Yeah. Cause he came around the time of. If you watch the, like the cartoon and comic, he came around the time Grey Lantern and all that yeah. started forming and shit. You know my biggest issue with the movie version of the, the uh, live movie version of uh, uh, Justice League? Yeah. There was no Martian. No what? No Martian. Oh, uh, Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm mad at that. They, they... How can you have the original Justice League without the Martian? And it's crazy because on the TV shows, if they decide to do a second one, if they sh the if the Martian ain't in it, then what are we, what are y'all doing? They introduced him easily through like, because on like on the cartoon, he was introduced through Batman. Yeah, right. Batman was the first one to meet him. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot of things they could do with that man. Like they do it on a TV show, like Smallville introduced him. Like, I didn't know that. I didn't see that. Yeah, Smallville introduced Martian Manhunter. That shit was dope. Oh, cause he was shape shifting and shit, moving fast as hell. Shit, I gotta go back and watch uh, Smallville, cause I definitely missed that part. Yeah, man. Then only only corny thing about Smallville is when they tried to get that nigga a suit at the uh, end of the series. No, they said instead they was like Kevin Irving, they just gave him a shirt with the ass <laughs> on. I was like, yeah, y'all messed that up, cause yeah. they tried to give him a whole little suit. I was like, nah, that wasn't gonna work. Nah. Cause they didn't want to make him a Superman too quick. He's supposed to be before he became Superman. Yeah, it's supposed to be his origin. Uh, it was actually pretty good for for the little time it was on. Yeah, yeah. I used to watch Marvel when I was younger. Yeah, I stopped watching it after they, they just got so. Yeah, I didn't watch them last couple few seasons. Me neither, cause cause it just got boring. It got the story started going in circles. Yeah, he kept having the uh, problems with Lana. Niggas supposed to be with Lois. He ended up with Lois, but Lana was just doing too much. And Lana was the... Then, that was his girlfriend. High school, sweetheart, whatever. Oh. Uh, Lois Lane. Okay, okay. Because I was like, I saw, I was like, who the fuck is Lana? I know Lois. Who the fuck is Lana? That was his high school sweetheart. He was, he and week. both of them, last name, they were supposed to be like cousins. No. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? They ain't that down, Sam. No, I'm talking. About, no, I'm talking about the uh, Lana and Lois. They were cousins. Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I thought they. I thought that's how they that's based it off of. Right, no, no, I ain't. I would never said that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I thought no, nigga. Stuff, I, no, I was saying Lana. The, farm, the characters that of Lana and Lois Lane. They were. They were cousins. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot. They was. It was. I know he met Lois early after he graduated high school. And he was grown and mm. he started at the Daily Planet and all like that. Mm. That's when he started getting to it with Lex. She started calling him the Red Blur and all like that. Plus the Lex Luthor and Justice League in the movie. It was cool. He did great. It was cool. It was. He just didn't have that that look. 
It didn't have that Lex Luthor feel. I think it was his look. Because he did great acting. He, he did like I don't mind him being like a Lex. They, they, truth is, listen, they should have made Lex Luthor black. It was a bunch of black. It's a bunch of black actors who could have played the dude Lex Luthor. The dude was like mixed. He went all the way white. Yeah, but they could have did. They could have took the cartoon route like he was black. Yeah, could. Oh, yeah, he sure was. Yeah. Uh, I know. I know a couple actors. I, I got. I got. I got a couple it's actors like, in mind. If you ask them, I think if you ask them, they'll probably be like, "He wasn't black. He's like a that nigga was like beige." That nigga was black. <laughs> I think he was black too. He was black. They might tell you he beige. He, he was black. He a beige villain. <laughs> Oh, look, cut the camera off. Stop screaming. You want to be on camera, boy? Mama, I want food. Okay, your daddy upstairs. <laughs> he said, I want food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he say, I want food. He say, Big Cuz got to feed him. No. If he wants so damn picky, I would. But nope. <laughs> because you'll make him something, and he'll be like, mmm. And he ain't going to eat it. Start running and playing. Up. No, I ain't got time for that. You do that with his daddy up there. <laughs> look how his daddy dressed him. Just look at look at look how his daddy dressed. Put the camera on. No, <laughs> those are Adidas bad, but they don't. I'm not digging all that. But is that ain't that how most fathers do? Just throw some clothes on them. You should see how that nigga dressed. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna go in on your uncle like that? Oh yeah, I always do. <laughs> We always, all of us do. That nigga got on a, some type of colored shirt, striped shirt on. It looked funny.